Welcome back to Airbrush Review SA. Today we've got a very nice air gun with us today. It is the Veteran Taipan in the standard form, but laminate stock. Uh, we'll do a little bit of a, a quick unboxing. Uh, just quickly to say that Taipan sent us these beautiful slugs with us and uh, we'll be shooting them and we'll see the accuracy on that out of their own guns. So furthermore, so let's go in the unboxing. So it comes in a box. As you can see, it's nicely got uh, packaging around it. You've got your instruction manual. It's got two magazines that it comes with. It's got some dowel rods, some O-rings, and it's got your full probe. That's quite nice. So let's check this air gun out here. And I see they even sent us a little accuracy card. Look at that, that's pretty good. I see they say it's 957. I don't know how many shots and I don't know. It says 20 to 50 meters. So that will be 50 and that will be 25 meters, depending. So let's go check it out. We'll see our own accuracy. Let's take it out of the bag. It's very light to the feel. Uh, that's the first thing I've noticed of this little bullpup. It looks very nice. It's got a beautiful stock on this. It's got a CZ barrel. Um, there are two versions of barrels, meaning with length. So you can put in a 500 mil barrel and a 700 mil barrel for longer distances if you want to shoot accurately and get more speeds, so they say. We just want to show you, you can, like we said, you can install a 500 mil barrel to a 700 mil barrel. The easiest way to take it out, you take a number four Allen key, millimeters, you loosen these four bolts or Allen cap screws, loosen those. You can then screw out your shroud. Once you've done that, just remove it off nicely. Take a 13 millimeter spanner, you'll see there will be, and you just loosen it right there. And you just screw it out, and that's it. If you have a look at that, as easy as that. The CZ barrel came out, pretty nice and easy. No transfer port this side, it's still back in here. Just install your 700 mil barrel, and then reinstall your shroud, plus tighten up your bolt just to hold up everything in place. As easy as that. We've got the 500 mil barrel today. Let's go see how it does at 50 meters. It's got a nice side cocking lever. If you can see that, it's at the back here, you see? So you can just load like that, shoot. Um, it says it's got a 20 MOA scope rail, so you don't need to buy those adjustable uh, scope mounts for this gun at all. So you just put on normal standard ones, which is Picatinny, and you'll be sorted. Um, I've seen that this has a shrouded barrel on the inside here. It's got that muzzle energy blast that will blow into this little tube, making it that much quieter, but not as quiet as if you can add a silencer in the front here. I see it's got its little cover here for your full probe to put it in there. It is very nice and smooth when you do that. It's not hooky, it's not tight. I see it's got a manometer. Um, you fill it up to 250 bar. We'll give you the shot count in due course. Um, I see it's also got a, comes with a single shot loader. Um, so it's pretty nice. If you want to take it out, you can't just pull it out. It's got a little indexer here to keep it in place. And the way you install these magazines and these single load um, trays is not from the side. You're going to have to do it from the top. And then make sure that this thing slides back into its place. Then it will keep it in, in tune with the air gun. So I'm really happy with this single loader because it's actually made out of aluminium. It's not that uh, cheap old plastic. Obviously you pay what you get for this gun. 
it's really nice like i said with the checkering on this nice walnut or it's wooden stock um, your safety is at the bottom yeah it's very audible listen to it there and it's quite nice with its ergonomics being quite close to the trigger so let's take it off and it sounds very quiet it's not that loud so this gun i think is going to perform quite well so if you have a look at the instruction manual it will give you numerous things on how to do all the other things so it's quite nice so we've got the standard yet taipan veteran standard which is 550 long he has the short and there's the long that's with the 700 mil barrel and obviously a longer tank with more shots per full so table of context it's got all those it's got the parts it's got what you get in the box. It shows you even how to load the magazine. Shows you how the construction is of the gun and how to operate it, which is quite nice about this. You don't have plenty of uh, air gun manufacturers putting in this nice instructional manual and all the parts prints and so on. Some of them, they're not in the boxes. But Taipan, you've done it. It's really an uh, awesome looking air gun and I'm really, really excited to go and shoot it at 50 meters so we'll see you in a bit yes okay to load this magazine simply pull it back there's that release mechanism pull it out to the top you'll see it has indentations here that means it's the back and then load it from front to like that Same way, put it down, make sure that you get this thing to slide in, forward, ready for action. So we're at 50 meters, we're going to shoot this little Taipan with the JSB 18 grains, 5 shot grouping, Let's see how it does. If you hear the speeds that it can travel at with the 18 grain, surely if you go through all the numerous slugs that are out there, you will find the one that will work with this gun. So, I really think these pellets are a little bit too light for this gun. So it's traveling quite fast. There's the first shot. Um, I'm not pretty happy with that uh, grouping. But uh, obviously it shows you the speed is a bit too fast. So let me see what pellets I can find. And um, let's go check how it does. Maybe let's do this while we add it. <clears throat> I have got our own made Thor slugs in 25 grains. And they are in 217 size. So let me quickly do a five shot grouping. Well, Ryan shows you that. I'll load this up here quickly. Look at that beautiful pellet right there. I mean slug. So let's quickly see. Um, I'm not going to re-zero it. I'm just going to aim at one place. And let's see. Five shot groupings at 50 meters with these pellets. Let's see how it does. Um, I don't know. Let's check. Let's go for them. Okay, let me find the aim point. That will be my aim point right there. 879. That's not bad, eh? It really isn't bad. Didn't pick that one up. So these things are pretty good, ladies and gentlemen. Eight hundred eighty-five. 
Oh, good morning. How are you doing, eh? Okay, empty. So there's five shot groupings with the slugs. That was a little bit heavier. Um, I'm trying to see if we've got the 25 grainers in the JSBs. I want to quickly try them out and see maybe what grouping we can get. It's just a five shot grouping and then we'll see how it does. So we're here at 50 meters and um, we found that these redesigned 25.39 grains in Jumbo Monsters in JSBs work the best in this uh, Taipan standard. Um, we shot the JSB 18 grains far over 1000 feet per second. So let's check how we do at 50 meters, five shot grouping. Nine hundred and five feet per second, which is awesome for these um, pe uh, uh, bullets. Nine hundred. My goodness. Eight hundred. If I do my part, this gun will do its part. So let's go see at that grouping downrange, five shot grouping at 50 meters. I'm very excited to go show you. We'll tell you the specs just now, how many shots per full. You get about 50 to 60 shots per full if you're pushing it. So we are at 50 meters. Look at that grouping at 50 meters. Five shot grouping. We can call that about a 10 cent size in South Africa currency. Um, here are some of the pellets that are laying on the floor. Look at that. Look how it looks. It's all smashed up. The 25 grainers. Just look at that. That is insane. That is really insane. That, that accuracy, I'm, I'm pretty keen. Uh, let's go and shoot our reactive targets here. And let's We've got these nice MDF zombie targets, the set. Uh, it's going for about 200 Rand, the set. It's got a nice little stand that you can put everything into. You've got different little pieces to shoot out, which is quite nifty. And then we've got the vermin MDF target set as well, where you get a crow, a bunny, and a rat. So let's take out one of these and we put it down on 30 meters and let's just check how good and how, how accurate we are. Yeah. We are at 30 meters, we're going to shoot that um, targets of ours and we've got 10 shots here in the magazine. We're shooting it with the 25.39 Jumbo Monsters redesigns at 902 feet per second. So let's see how many of those things I can shoot off with this gun, air gun. Let's see, it's on the top there. So let's see what we, what we can do. We're going to start from the top or the bottom. Let's start from the top. 900. So if you do your part, obviously the gun will do its part. 800. So that was pretty Five. cool. This gun is really reliable and accurate. That is of course, if you choose the right pellet for your gun, the twist rate and all that, um, it will be capable of shooting slugs. You just need to find the one that will be the most accurate for you. And yeah, what more can I say about this gun? The trigger is very light. You can set it um, pretty easy. Uh, you can adjust the spring tension at the back here for more speed or less speed. 
Uh, it's very light to the feel. It's got a nice grip over here that sits nicely into your hand. It's got a nice cutaway. This wood looks stunning. I cannot describe it how nice it looks. Um, I'm pretty impressed. So, so far I've missed one. So far I've missed one. There, there's my second one. I'm shaking too much here. There's another one. So last shot, another thing is I want to say is we shot it at 50 meters, we zeroed in at 50 meters and we are here at 30 meters and it's still spot on. I didn't have to re-zero it for this distance. Look how I chipped away that one. That is so cool. But it shows you, um, these little targets are really small. They're about a pellet size, even with these ones, they're about five, five mil in diameter. So five millimeters, so that's pretty small. So this is pretty cool to shoot. So if you think you can shoot very accurate, I think these are the targets to shoot. If you can see, I did 10 shots and I only took a couple of them out there. Uh, yeah, so try it out. I mean, if you're on the bench, it will probably be way easier to shoot it, but offhand, in the shoulders to shoot that, that's where the fun comes in. All in all, what we want to say about the Taipan standard, um, the veteran, I'm pretty impressed. I'm happy with it. I would buy it for myself. Trigger is smooth. Everything just works well together. Uh, what we haven't mentioned is we use this beautiful scope right here. Uh, we will show you a bit more in the description what it is all about. Uh, it's got an illuminated reticle. It's got a nice power wheel here. Got your nice zoom. Um, clickable turrets and they lock in place so it's a very very nice scope come have a look at what they are let me just remove my camera system and you'll be able to see which one it is so it's called the valiant 5 to 20 by 50 very nice scope good price as well nice reticles uh, if you want to shoot long distances, if you want to use nice holdovers, uh, obviously you can use your turrets if you want to use the dials there. It's got a nice power wheel here on the side for your parallax. And then obviously it's got here for your reticle colors. It's got green and red, if you can see that. Pretty dang cool. So all in all, I'm impressed with this whole setup that we have here today, shooting the 25.39 um, Monsters. And yeah, let's go and see how it is. This is a lovely day. We're just going to keep on shooting. We're going to have now fun with this gun in the sun. And we'll see you in the next one. Have a good one and we'll see you.